Um, let's just open a whole nother deck. I like starting, starting fresh. All right, so petitioners. What? Oh, I was about to say, shouldn't it be in the peas? All right, let's just throw, throw some copies of them in there. Tap four untapped advisors. You control. Put stop twelve. What's that? That big fish that puts half of their cards in their graveyard. You guys know the one I'm talking about. I may not have him. I don't think I have him. Let me show you real quick. I think his. I think it's six mana, seven mana. Fleet Swallower. Yeah. Whenever he attacks, the target player puts the top half of their <laughs> graveyard or library into the graveyard, which is insane. All right, so we got the petitioners. Uh, we could go with some like sealways or bylaws. Question is, do we just want to focus on sealers alone or sealers uh, petitioners alone? I think we can maybe not go with drowned secrets, but psychic corrosion should still be very playable, right? Maybe just as a two of, maybe as a three of. Um, and then what? Just a bunch of removal. We're gonna need more petitioners than that. Um, probably want to settle. <clears throat> you know, we could play Shala to give us uh a means of blocking all of our petitioners. Just just as a one of though. Exelon's bindings for sure. Conclave, let's try it out. Okay. Um where where there it is. But I say where is that card that I'm actually looking for? Steal away and some revitalizes in the deck may not be bad. So now we're going mostly white and some blue huh I feel like we need more card draw than just revitalize maybe we splash back over here for some chemistry's insights and where is that card that I always forget some radical ideas does that work 2.53 we have two seal aways two conclaves two exelons a settle a shala and 16 petitioners. So in this in this route, we're basically solely going for petitioners. Yeah, I mean it could work. All right, let's go to our land. Fix that. Fix that real quick. Evolving. We're gonna need double white, so we really need to make sure we have the white mana available. Maybe a copy of Zalfurian Void. Maybe we could go two copies. I feel like the scry on a land is really, really good effect. We'll leave it like that. Either way, I probably will make a YouTube video for this and throw it up, um, throw it up over there on the channel. So let's see. Well, we have an early psychic corrosion and Ixlon's bindings, which is nice. Chemistry's insight. Okay. Said I was gonna try not to smoke on stream, but we only got four viewers right now. <clears throat> and I'll probably be getting off next. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like 30, 45 minutes anyways, so. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter what we go with here. Let's go. Let's go ahead and get out our petitioners just because I don't want a radical idea on this turn. And if he manages to go ahead and kill one, you know. Whatever. I don't want a radical idea before I get the corrosion down.
So, uh, Tomique? I think that's how I say your name. Tomique, you actually play the game or are you just like watching people play it? Because I know there's some people that are just like, nah, like that's that's too complicated, but I enjoy seeing other people deal with complicated shit. Like, like control decks for me, that's how I feel. I, I don't really like playing them because they're like, uh, that's, that's a fucking migraine just going through that whole thought process. But, uh, like these fun little janky piss off decks, I love the hell out of. So, you actually play or are you just like watching people play? Um, we can attack here, but I'm not going to. I don't want him to have some kind of combat trick and kill our petitioner. And it's sort of a wasted wasted attack anyways. We're not trying to kill him by beating him in the face. Tinder shoot. Oh no. We don't draw land. This is going to be really bad. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. I play and watch at the same time. Okay, nice. Excellent bindings. Yeah, we'll throw that down on the tender shoot. Get out of here. Can't really do anything else past that. I mean, we could attack, but again, attacking with a petitioner is like throwing a pebble at someone. Well then, uh, weirdo, what uh, what decks do you play? Mostly watch. Can't really afford to buy packs and don't feel like stressing over playing against mono red. <laughs> Understandable. Um, I've learned to take a bit of a freer approach to it though. Like if I'm playing ranked, yeah, mono red is like, fuck. I mean, and, and it's what I play in ranked, so I understand that it's very frustrating for people. Um, but that that's the ranked scene, and you, I, I can't expect anything less. But then for people to you know play their hardest and play the decks that they know will win in ranked, so I don't fault people for that. But uh, if you play standard play and you get up against someone annoying, just you know, just fucking concede. That's the beautiful thing about this. If you're playing against like a group of friends in real life and one of them's got an annoying as fuck deck, you're probably not gonna play with them anymore, right? You're gonna be like, you you're a fucking douche, right? It's not fun playing with you. But on MTG Arena, you can just say, ah, you know, I concede. I'll move on to someone else. Maybe they'll have a shitty deck and I'll feel good about mine. Do we go for another corrosion? Honestly, I think yes. We don't have the petitioners really to make it matter right now. Shalaz okay, but it, she'll probably get removed before she actually blocks our petitioners from getting removed and they have any effects. And we have two two draw cards which we can use twice um, to affect both of our corrosions. So I think I think this is the way we go. Um, I don't blame them for playing it either. It's just difficult to win against. Yeah, it's not even like that it's difficult to win against, sometimes it's just straight up impossible. Like a mono red deck can win in five turns. Easy. With Steamkins, with uh, Vash, you know, Pyromancers, with uh, Experimental Frenzy, like it's very real that they have that much damage in five turns. <laughs> At least it doesn't take 50 minutes to lose. Yeah, that is very true. Hmm. I don't know, but I, I don't take losses so, like, difficultly, if that makes sense. I know some people, like, whenever they lose, they're like, God damn it, like, you know, fuck this, fuck that. Which, I'll say that, but I don't, like, I don't generally get mad about a loss. I just see it as, like, as my deck was missing something, right? Like, you got a bubble, and that's your deck. <clears throat> and I like to think whenever you lose, someone just found a crack in your bubble, and you just gotta go and find some way to seal it up without stretching out another, you know, hole in your deck, so. And as far as, um, as for decks on MTJ, I only play, uh, blue-red quasi-duplicate Drake deck. That's, that's pretty fun deck. Tried building mill, but it didn't work. Paper MTG, I got a bird tribal. Okay. Doesn't really net me any wins against friends. <laughs> that, that's alright. As long as you have fun playing it. I'm sorry. Oops. Sorry, opponent talking to chat not even paying attention um yeah i'm not really like on oh okay so that's good i haven't really gotten to paper magic yet um i got some friends that are and i'm sure they'd love it if i got into it but uh i, I really like playing mtg arena like i said it lets me connect with people all around the world if i want to find a new opponent yeah, yeah like, they're right there i can do it um do we 
I think we just go ahead and chemisters. Like, he's still not showing us anything too promising, right? One poison tip archer isn't that great. We're about to make him discard, what, two times four, eight cards? It's fantastic. Um, we could tap our petitioner. <clears throat> I think I'm going to save it for next turn. Well, let's see. Yeah, e e even if we do tap him, I think it's better to save it. We did draw another petitioner out, so we might want to get one down. So that way, if we get another one, then we can play two out in the same turn and tap them all. I feel like that's the best, best thing to do with petitioners, is get two out and then save two in your hand. So they don't... <clears throat> They're thinking, you know, he still has to play two, but you're, you know, you have a third one in hand, waiting on the fourth. Because as soon as they land, like I said, you can you can tap them. If we can get twelve cards out, he'll be down to nineteen. That's so huge. Well, seventeen, fifteen, because you know, just the natural effects of corrosion. <clears throat> Pass to attacker. So probably swing in with his support lane, poison tip. Poison tip and support link? There we go. I don't know about that one. Um, yeah, let's just take the damage. Whatever. It's it's four fucking damage. I don't want him to have some combat trick and kill my petitioners, because I'm I'm really working on something here. <laughs> I got a good thing going. I ain't trying to ruin it. Just because I'm trying to be stingy with my health total. So we'll tap him out, make him discard one more card. He's down to 30, down to 26 after Psychic Corrosion. Looks like it's bindings. That's interesting. I'm going to throw it down on his, uh, his archer if we want. But we can't throw it down and get a copy of Persistent Petitioners out because Meandering River does enter tapped, which is unfortunate. Um, play. We draw two cards. That's He's going to discard eight more. He'll be down to 18. Play Ixalons. I'm not too worried about the Poison Tip yet, right? So I think we just go Petitioners into Radical Idea. Maybe we should have went Radical Idea into Petitioners, actually. I think I... Played that backwards. Um, oh wait, we're up, we're up against Gold Gary. It doesn't matter. He doesn't have a one mana counter play. Hmm. He has his treasures. Forget about that. How the hell? Oh, treasure map. Let's say, how the hell did he even get treasures? Ooh. So if we had a radical idea first, we could have radical idea and use the Exalons bindings. But again, I'm not too worried about the poison tip, right? I feel like he'll be milled before Poison Tip kills us. Of course, that could be very cocky, huh? All right, so we'll skip to his turn. He's down to 21 cards. Um, one tap from Petitioner, he's down to nine. On our turn, he's losing four more. He's down to five. So if we draw a Petitioner, he's down to five cards. <laughs> Actually, no, no, no. If we draw a Petitioner, he's down to f one card. So we can play Radical Idea as well. <clears throat> How much mana do we have? Six, seven, one Petitioner, two Petitioners, four. We're left with three. Yeah. We're left with one card. Hmm. Not even one now since he drew that extra card. Excellent. So if we draw Petitioners, we win. Uh, I like that. As long as he doesn't remove our current Petitioners as well. Um... Which, you know, it's Golgari and he has Poison Tip, so... He should. He should, he should be able to. Mm, swing it all in with everything. I mean, it's something you can do. I'm just going to take the damage. Like I said, next turn, as long as we keep our Petitioner's alive, as long as we draw a Petitioner... Um... <clears throat> we win. So, it's not really even a need for me to put that card out, but I'll do it just to ensure. See, because he'll lose four here. He's down to uh, 15. Cat Petitioner, he loses 12. He's down to three. We play Radical, he loses four, because it's both our copies of Psychic Corrosion. So, well, that's game. I 
things that can mess us up. If he has one single copy of Guy's Blessing, um, we lose. Vicious Offering. Ugh. Don't tell me you have another copy. Why would he not kick it? <laughs> what? I mean, sure, but... What? Kicking it only makes sense with the deck. He has Poison Tip, right? Okay, so we didn't draw another Petitioners. That's okay. Um, we can go ahead and Ixalan's Binding his Poison Tip. He doesn't have any cards in hand either. Let's see if we can... If we can mill him out this turn. He has 15 cards. That's 8 gone. That's 4 gone. Still left with 3 cards. Mmm. That's unfortunate. Tell you what, let's just go... How many attackers does he have? 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's go bindings on the poison tip. He can't counter it, can't do anything about it. So, that, and we can revitalize. It's going to do the same thing as uh, Radical Idea anyway, so give us a little bit more health. So maybe we'll be able to finish him off next turn. <clears throat> I'm actually surprised this mill deck is working so well, though. Oh, man. All right. So, pass it on to his turn. No, no, no. No tax. Does this card save him? Or is he done for? He has seven damage on the field. If he has a single thing that buffs all of his creatures, he wins. If he has a poison tip, he wins. He doesn't have anything? <laughs> oh man, he's really digging deep for this. He didn't draw anything. If he drew something, he would have attacked automatically. He didn't draw anything. Even still, we're gonna block one. Yeah. Oh, we win! Right? Right? Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, sweet victory from a mill deck. That's two now. Alright, so, yeah, we can go ahead and tap him. Discard one. He'll discard four more at the beginning of our turn. We'll Chemistry's Insight, and we'll win. <laughs> Maybe he has Tinder Shoot, but he can't cast it because of Ixalan. Oh! Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Let's see, have we discarded another... Oh, I was trying to see something there, Psychic Garden. We discarded another copy of Tinder Shoot. There's one in his graveyard. Could have been all he was running, too. Oh, no, there's... <laughs> nope, all of his Tinder Shoots are in his graveyard. Oh, my, that's a mighty big uh, graveyard you have there. Um, Let's get rid of Shalak, because why not? And say bye-bye to his cards. We could have just played Radical Idea, too. Alright, oh, let's throw out the GG. You know that's gonna feel bad. <laughs> Alright, maybe we'll go for one more game. Then we just call it quits. Um, yeah. Alright, if we can get three victories with our Zorius Mill deck, I'm calling it a good deck. <laughs> and I will not label, I will unlabel it as a jank deck. It'll go in as a, a mid-range combo deck. <laughs> um, hmm. Mill decks are slow, but this is an extremely slow start. We don't have petitioners. Psychic's gonna take a while if we can get another land. We have revitalize and seal away, I guess, to kind of stall us out. Oh, I don't like this as us going first. Thanks a lot. Yeah, no problem, man. Um, we'll keep it. I don't like it, but we're going to keep it. <laughs> Just be careful. We are only playing with 19 lands, so if you feel like you need to make a cut somewhere and increase those lands, by all means. Oh, no. 
Non-creature, non-land. Don't take my corrosion. Don't take my corrosion. You can have the bindings. You ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> Hmm. That's depressing. If he's just gonna be playing a discard deck, but like discard for my hand, I'm gonna get super jelly. Alright. Fair bonus. Another land. That would have been super useful if I'd have had my psychic corrosion, you know, still in hand. How many copies of psychic do we have? Is it one or two? Can we check on that real quick actually? Do we have one or two copies of psychic? Still, he's not going to do anything. Throwing out a persistent petitioners just gives him something to attack. I think we just radical here. Yeah. Evolving wilds is something. Settle won't be that good, I don't think, considering so far all. Oh, well, maybe. Let's go into zombie deck. Oh, we're going to Ixalan's bindings the shit out of you. Come on, select, select the planes. There you go. We did that so we have enough for settle. Um, and yeah, we're going to throw it on petitioners this turn. Because we don't want to seal away his death baron. We want to Ixalan's bindings, that motherfucker. <clears throat> Hopefully he doesn't have another copy in hand to go ahead and get down on top of his copy that he has now. No, just Braska's Contempt. That's okay. I got plenty more where that came from. Yeah. Take his Death Baron. Like I said, I, I figured this would be a slow startup in our hand, but the fact that he got rid of our Psychic Corrosion means we're, <laughs> we're literally not doing anything. He's drawing and it's doing more than our mill deck is to him right now. Oh, kind of depressing. That's alright. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I guess we radical idea again. And again. <laughs> oh, come on. Doom Whisper. Well, that's getting binding. There's a copy of Petitioners. Go ahead, surveil. <laughs> surveil while you can. Alright, so I feel like we've at least taken out two pretty big creature cards for him. He got rid of a uh, Vicious Offering. That's good. That's one, one, bo one more bit of removal I don't have to worry about. Maybe he will think you're a Nexus deck and give up. <laughs> I don't think so. Vanquisher's Banner? What kind of deck are you playing that has Doom Whisperer, Zombies, Surveil, and Duress? Yeah, he's going for Zombies. That's so odd. Um, tell you what. Mm. <laughs> you know, I think I'm just going to Chemistry's Insight. I hate getting rid of all of our card draw without having a Psychic Corrosion. But at the same time... Maybe we just get down to pet Persistent Petitioner. We can at least start milling him. If he has any removal, it should come out on this. Or do we get down a Shala? Ah, fuck it. Let's go with Shala. We, we've literally yet to play her in this deck, so... If he has removal, great. Remove Shala. If not, Petitioner is coming out, and there ain't shit you can do about it. Oh, well, that is if we draw him. And I'm not too worried about all the zombies, like coming out and just swarming us because we do have a settle so that's exactly why it's in the dip. Sweet, so no removal. Psychic corrosion. Yes. We got a copy. Um we can save and seal away maybe his walking corpse. Maybe his doom to center. There's gotta be something better later to seal away, right? So do we go petitioners and go ahead and get one out? I think so. Or we can go Radical Idea, but I don't know what we discard, so I think we're just going to the Petitioners. Uh, no attacks. Alright, uh, next turn, what do we want to see? Uh, another land. 
be fine so we get chemisters and seal away if need be. He's attacking with everything. He's got to have something, right? Something to buff his creatures or do something. Otherwise, why would he attack? I don't understand people. <laughs> That's another bad thing about playing standard. Sometimes you, you just overthink what your opponent's going to do. We didn't draw a land, which kind of depresses me. We can settle the shit out of them, but again, I don't think we're at the point of needing to do that. So let's go petitioners and just save it, right? Save our mana. He doesn't really have anything too good on the field. I mean, thank for sure is something, but it still doesn't really make him strong enough to deal with any of our creatures. Last turn I probably should have blocked. I will block this turn if he swings in. I just didn't want him to have a, a fucking uh, combat trick and take out all of our shit, so... This will also probably be the last game for me as we're coming up on four hours, so. But for everyone that missed it, like I said, these videos will be up on YouTube if you missed like any parts of it or whatever. Um, I'm probably going to keep the two Azorius wins and probably this third game even though this guy's taking a, taking a sweet time. And that video will... It's already three o'clock. It'll probably go up tomorrow, realistically. What is he doing? He's just AFK? Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Just come back and murder my uh, Shala. Cool. Cool, bro. Oh, you know what? We shouldn't have killed that zombie. I forget he's gonna come back as a three-three, not a two-two. Whoops. Um, do we do we steal away? Do we steal away his walking corpse? We are getting pretty low on land. I guess we can always uh, settle next turn though. Let's get rid of the seal away. Let's go big or go home. Conclave. Well, we can conclave his vanquisher's banner. Ooh, that's not good. Thank God for Settle the Wreckage, right? My turn? Okay. Play Settle and a Radical Idea. Can't play Conclave on his Vanquishers. That'll be alright, though. Um, I think we Radical Idea a Chemistry's Insight, so. He's down to 29 cards. We still have quite a ways to go. Well, after we settle these, he's going to pull out 5. He'll be down to 24. Uh, that's fine. He's gonna keep the Death Baron, but we can Conclave the Death Baron. Pretty smart move, though, bringing him back from the graveyard. Oh, I'm sorry, not Bob. He's not gonna attack with the Barrier Bones. He can't. <clears throat> nice, yes. It's also nice that you didn't account for the Settle play. Alrighty, my turn. Yeah, we'll discard the Chemisters because we're just gonna get it back, anyways. Down to 24, down to 22. We can play Conclave and Petitioners. I think that's what we do as well. Give me that Death Baron. And we'll Petitioners, so we have some defense. And, I mean, I don't know, I mean, we're pretty much fine on land either way. At least that way we have a lesser chance of drawing land. 
He's down to what, 21 guards? I think I think we can win this. Yeah, as far as top decking goes, that wasn't his best one. Okay, so we can play a Petitioner's and a Chemistry's Insight. Oh, no we can't. Because <laughs> we gotta discard a card, right? Alright, well I'm sorry to see you go, Petitioner's, but we gotta do it. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> For two lands? So not worth it. Except for the fact that now we can, uh, we can do this. <laughs> ah! We only have 19 lands in hand. Somehow we managed to draw three lands back to back to back. <sighs> That's crazy. <laughs> but he only has 13, 12 cards. Um, next turn he'll have 10. We gotta find some way to mill him 10 cards. Wonderful, he didn't seem to draw anything either. Nine cards. Ah! <laughs> what is this? Four lands in a row. 19 lands and a 60 card deck. I don't want the seal away. And we got four in a fucking row. <laughs> Thank God he conceded. Either way, we managed to pick up three victories with our Azorius Petitioner's um, deck, which is actually... <laughs> Oh. Okay, so our reward was something we already had. That's kind of nice, right? We get the we get the 20 gems from it, so now I'm up to a solid 5. 5-0. Five -oh. Not that we can... I mean, I guess we could play a constructed event with it. But still, um, thanks everybody for coming out. I uh, really enjoyed the stream today. I loved uh, Better Than Expected. Yeah, you're telling me I didn't... <laughs> uh, whenever I saw the card, I did not expect the jank deck to ever work out with it past having, like, you know, fucking half of Allegiance already to make it work. But the fact that I got it day one and made the deck work day one, I'm I'm super happy, super excited about the results, super excited about moving into Allegiance further in the future, and super excited to see if I can ever start enunciating and pronouncing words correctly. <laughs> Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. If you did, be sure to follow here and on YouTube. Most of my content does go up on YouTube. I try to get up a video a day of MTG. And it's all similar uh, decks to this. Um, peace out, Tomik. Tom, Tom, Tomik. I don't, I don't know how to say your name, man. Or woman. Either either way, whichever it may be. Um, yeah, y'all have a good day. But if you enjoyed, be sure to follow me here. Follow me on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I won't do my YouTube outro as I can just always go back and do that later. So peace out. You guys have a nice day. And thanks for tuning in.